What are we brewing today, Emmett? Uh, brewing a robust porter. Blackberries that we picked uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, you guys picked these? Yeah, they've been in the freezer and we're gonna add those to secondary. Hell yeah. We need 7.75 gallons, so we're just gonna fill her up. And we're using an RV hose. Seven and a half. That would, that would, that would kill her. It looks right on, 7.75. Perfect. And we're mashing at 153. Uh, we'll turn the pump on and start recirculating. We got the uh, temperature set to 153. Got the uh, water recirculating. And we're just going to let this get up the temp. Yeah. And probably grind some grains while we're waiting. So we got nine pounds, nine and a half pounds of Maris Otter in here. Yeah. Pound of Crystal 60. Pound of chocolate malt. Eight ounces of Carapa 2. And then eight ounces of a Crystal 120. And then we got eight ounces of Maloidin malt. Yeah. It's gonna be dark and malty. Real dark. Yeah. So we're at uh, strike temp. Put our green basket in. I'm loving Give stirs. Give paddling. Yeah. Paddling the school canoe. Fire up the old pump. From now, we got an hour to drink some beers and hang out. All right. Play with horses. I like that. Work on my tan. Work on my sun cancer. <laughs> Gingers were not made to go outside. It is ridiculously sunny out. So we're just gonna kill the pump. If you want to slide that under. Right. Should be good. Yep. Oh, that smells so good. Delightful. Oh boy. And maybe uh, Jack's animals will like that. What's our liquid level in there? Dude, we're at like six right on the meniscus. Six gallons? Yeah, totally. Okay. Boil off rate on this is about a half gallon an hour. Okay. So if we're at six, we should end right around five and a half. So there's a lot of proteins left in the grain, uh, even after you like mash in for brewing. Mm -hmm. What you're doing in the brewing process is, uh, it's called amylase. It's breaking the starches in the grain down into sugars, which are edible by yeast. So there's, you know, alpha and beta and whatever amylase to break those sugars down into these very sort of like short chains that these microorganisms could eat. But for like a, you know, what did they call them? megafauna like a horse here <laughs> um there's a lot of like proteins available and starches that are left over that aren't just sort of converted in that mash in 
and it's good livestock feed. I've heard that, uh, yeah, horses, cattle, sheep, uh, all, you know, it's good silage for those animals. Apparently, hogs, you'd think pigs eat everything, right? The old brick top, feed them to the pigs, never trust anybody that owns more than six swine sort of a deal. They don't like to eat the spent grain. Huh. Go figure. Yeah, look at this horse right here. But, yeah, Marty seems to love it. Scrubbing down. Uh, boil just started. Yeah. Get the uh, first top edition ready. Uh, three quarters an ounce of Columbus. So Columbus. Good bittering hop. Yeah. Oily. Yeah, kind of danky. Mm-hmm. A little bit of that sort of like pet choppy. Let me get a little, oh baby. A little bit of that like citrusy vibe too. A little bit, yeah. It's a good, really good bittering hop. So we're just gonna pop this in, set the alarm for 45 minutes. Party. And uh, let it do its thing. Maybe get the fermenter sanitized while we're while we're waiting. Yeah. Cool. Dude. Party. Party. You ready? Yeah, man. Here. Purge the line. Cool. Let's take a pre-boil gravity reading while we're here. Might be a little warm, but it should be fine. Close enough for home brewing on a beautiful sunny, sunny day. There we go. There he goes. 10, 50, ooh, close to 10, 60. Wanna take a look? Yeah. Yeah, 10, 60, like okay. right on the money. Cool. Bingo. A little high. But we, uh, our grain absorption was a little off and he had dialed that in. My recipe estimated 1054. So we're in the ballpark. Yeah. 15 minute edition. Yeah. Half ounce. William it? Will lamb it. Will lamb it. Will lamb it. Will lamb it. I've never pronounced that right. Oregon. 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 So half ounce of Will lamb it. Will lamb it. Rhymes with damn it. Will am it. That's fine. Toss this guy in. Bingo. I'm gonna run the boiling wort through the uh, plate chiller too, just to sterilize it. And then hook up our fancy thermometer on the wort out. So we'll go wort in. Dude, these plugins are great. Yeah, the quick disconnects yeah, are super for real. nice. Kind of like a air compressor thing. Yep. You wanna yeah. hook that into water in. The plate chiller. And it's so effective. Yeah, they're super it's, efficient. Yeah, they're so fucking efficient. Like, it's cold water. Almost a 70. Oh, really? Yeah. Perfect. We're gonna go into the fermenter. You can decant this, just cold crash it, get all the yeast out of suspension. Right. But with but. Uh, a porter, this isn't going to make any difference. So I'm just going to be careful not to drop my uh, stir, stir bar in there. Like a boss. There you go. And then uh, we'll put it in our fermentation room and uh, give it, I don't know, a week or two, and then we'll uh, get those blackberries going. Bingo. All right, so we're just gonna take a final gravity reading. Just a room temp. Oh man, it's really hard to read out here, it's so sunny. Oh no, there we go. It's it might just be me. 165? That's what it looked like to me. That's what I'm getting right now. Well, it's oh, hard to see. Okay. Yeah. 
Here we go. You do one of these things where you fucking flip your eyelid inside out. <laughs> if it's not 165, it is like just above. Okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. How did the day go? It was fun. Real fucking hot. Yeah, it was really hot though. And uh, it's nice just to be able to easily pack everything up, bring it to buddies, and knock out a brew day. Thanks, buddy. All right, man. Good seeing you. Come out. Come we'll out come out for the again. solstice. Bro. Is that what it's called? Eclipse. Eclipse. The eclipse. Come and see us for the eclipse. That's when we're hippies. gonna. That's when we're gonna sample this. The yeah. Vibration. Boom. Imagine this beautiful animal right here, just sort of sauntering through one of these little pastures right here, like a crisp December morning. There is a fresh snowfall the night before a couple of three five inches of powder on the ground just blowing steam out their nostrils horses are beautiful creatures they really are